Hi to everyone in the Frontotemporal Dementia Caregivers Support Group. It's Jo and it is Saturday, the 14th of January 2023. We are living in the future, aren't we? 2023. I don't know if that scares you as much as it scares me, but I, for one, do not know how I got here. Uh, yeah, time flies. It's good to be back. And now that I am going to be around a little bit more, a little bit more present in the group, I thought what I would do is reinstate some of the things I used to do previously. One of those things was video chats. Now, that doesn't mean you have to have a webcam and you have to respond via video, although it's great if you do because... I don't know, I think it, it always feels a little bit more intimate, uh, like you get to know someone a little bit more when you, you're speaking to them, even if it is to a webcam, you get to see them, their way that they respond, their inflections, you get to put a face to a name. So lovely if you've got a video camera and you have access to this sort of technology and you want to record a response, fabulous. If not, you can just write your comments. That's just as good. Uh, or you can just read them. You don't have to comment at all. Uh, I know some groups say, oh, if you're not active, uh, not support groups, but some groups, I mean, if you're not active that, you know, they, they look at culling members. Absolutely not. I think sometimes you get a lot of support just by reading comments and stories and hearing other people's experiences and being able to relate them to your own. Uh, even though we are all unique and all our stories are different, we do have some things in common. So what I thought I would do to um, get the year started and, and get back a little bit more of a routine and commitment to the group is start my weekly questions. So these will be video questions that I'll post. And like I said, you can respond with a video response or you can just read them or you can type your answers. But this is a pretty easy one. I'm just bringing it up on the screen because I did get this ready a little bit earlier and now I've lost it. Of course I have. I have a screen here. I have a screen here. I have one here. I have one here. And I am not very good with technology. Trust me, no matter what you might think, because I create videos, I am hopeless. My kids say to me all the time, I should not touch anything that was made after 1980. I, I do think they, they have a bit of a point. But my question today for everyone is, what is the single most difficult challenge or responsibility that you would identify that goes along with caregiving? What's the single most difficult or challenging thing that goes with caregiving? So I'm going to start off with my answer, uh, and I'm not a caregiver anymore. Um, my mum did pass nearly two years ago. In two days, on January the 16th, two years ago, my mum passed. So um, I'm thinking about her at this point, and I'm trying to think back to what was the most difficult. And it really wasn't the end part of her decline. Uh, in the end, she was in a facility. And yes, of course, that's hard. And I don't think there's any part that's easy, that's for sure. But um, she was being cared for, and it does bring a bit of respite more guilt uh, at that last stage guilt that you know I've left her in a care home and that I have to see her and I have to be with her but towards the end you know it's hard to even know how much um, awareness she had I do believe my mum had her memory well preserved because even um, it was actually the 14th of January two years ago so this day two years ago I went and saw her realizing she was coming to the end but not aware that she only had you know two days left and I walked into the room and she still went, oh, like she responded. She couldn't speak. She was completely um, aphasic, but you could see her reaction. Her, her hands would shake and she looked up and with an expression on her face. And to me, that was an acknowledgement. And she always did tend to know who we were, but that may not be your experience. Um, but for me, going back to the question, I digress and I can chat a lot. But going back to the question, the most difficult part for me was in the moderate stage. The early stage, there was still confusion. I, I, I couldn't understand why she was doing things. I was still learning then as well. But the moderate stage where her behaviors became very challenging. Uh, I tend to look back now and, and try to laugh. Um, humor, we all deal with things differently, but I do try to find moments of joy and laughter in some of the funny things she did. And in fact, I did start a thread in this group about funny things your loved ones do as a result of that behavioral variant of um, FTD. I'll try and find it and reactivate it um there's some some good stories in there but to laugh is good but laughing never really offset the fact that the moderate stage was the hardest part and for me the isolation 
the responsibility and the commitment to her were the hardest things. Uh, Jackson was, my, my son Jackson was quite young at the time and trying to juggle full-time work, full-time studies, full-time caregiving as a single parent uh, and trying to find my mum. It was just trying to spread myself so thin. So for me, um, the short answer is the isolation and the responsibility and the commitment was the hardest part for me in that moderate stage when her behaviours became really challenging and very difficult to deal with. Uh, she became very aggressive and there, there's a lot of my videos that people would have seen and I'll start posting them again so that you, you can relate to my experience. But having said that, yours may be very different. So I'd love to know if you'd like to write your answer below or do a video response. Great. But my question to you today for the question of this week is what is the single most challenging or most difficult part of caregiving for you? And you may not be right through your caregiving experience yet. You might be at the beginning. You might be towards the end or like me, it may be part of your memory. But what is it for you or what was it for you that was the single or most difficult part of caregiving? All right, that's it for now. I will be around. I will be back next week with another question and in between as well. Till then, take care of yourselves and each other and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. The world seems bright and gay And when Irish eyes are smiling Will they steal your heart away? So, all the Irish eyes are smiling now. Let's sing it again. Are you ready? When Irish eyes are smiling Short is like